just hours away from a rare solar eclipse taking over North American skies. And we are live in Niagara Falls with our Stella Aquisto, who has details on what we can expect today. She's taken over the mic and the hat from Stephanie Henry. And you have the latest for us, Stella. Good morning. Good morning, Tams. Yes, uh, Steph saved me today because it's kind of misty out here right now. So she's trying to save the hair. So she passed over the mic and now she passed over the hat and I'm taking over. We are expecting about 1 million people here today in Niagara Falls. But of course, weather may play a factor during the hours of the eclipse. Right now, it's forecasted that it could be potentially overcast. And so I thought I would bring in the big guns right now just to help us out, to talk to us about the solar eclipse and, and kind of the science behind it. So I have Dave Kirsch here. He's an astronomy lecturer at TMU. And, and just tell me, first, let's set up weather. OK, so if it is overcast, what will people see? So if it is overcast, that's not ideal. We'll hope for a break in the clouds. But one thing that you'll get to see that you wouldn't otherwise is the shadow of the moon sweeping in. Uh, as it as it starts to cover over the clouds. So you won't get to see the area around the sun as much, which will be a shame, but it's still gonna be quite a sight. The darkness will still happen, the, uh, the air temperature change, and uh, the quiet that's supposed to happen, color changes to the eye. So there's still gonna be a lot to see whether or not it's cloudy. Oh, air temperature change, does that mean like I should have brought a heavier jacket? It's supposed to get a little <laughs> bit cooler, not substantially, but you should be able to feel it over the few minutes. Okay, so let's talk about an event like this and the rarity behind an event like this. So these sorts of things, they, they do happen, uh, but you gotta be in the right place in the world at the right time to see it. So the last time a total solar eclipse happened in this area was 1925, and it won't happen again till 2144. So it's gonna be a while. That's actually pretty good because on average, it's supposed to be every 400 years or so. So for a certain place. So this is rare. Everyone in North America will get to see a partial and partial eclipses happen pretty regularly. Maybe, you know, once a year or so, but, uh, but a total right here in our backyard is, is quite special. And I hope everyone takes the chance to see it. And totality will start at 318. It lasts for about three and a half minutes here. Right? That's right. Yeah, somewhere at 318. So if you've got your glasses, you'll be wearing your glasses right up until the moment and don't take them off until there's until the sun is black, until you can't see anything. And then you can take them off if you're in Niagara and, uh, and you'll be able to see totality. You know, from the minute I started talking to you, I see this like little smile in your face, <laughs> right? This like glow in your face. It's probably a moment that you've been, you know, you talk to people in your lectures about yeah. this stuff. What does a, an event like this mean to you? So this is huge, yeah. Teaching astronomy, you know, I try and convince people how important it is. And so this is a day when everyone is celebrating astronomy and everyone gets to see the sorts of things that I've been talking about in my classes. And so this particular eclipse I've been talking about in my classes for, for many, many years, and now it's finally here. So it, it is extremely exciting. Okay, and you were talking to me about how you prepare for a, a day like this. You have your family, which is really cute. You can't see them right now, but they're off in the corner over there. Um, and, and so tell us like what you did to prepare for a day like today. Well, first off, we wanted to avoid the traffic coming in, so we got in yesterday. Uh, but the traffic coming out may be problematic, uh, as I think everyone knows. So ideally, if you can get some water bottles with you, some food or something, so you don't have to rely on, on finding that somewhere else and just being ready that it, it'll be slow and there'll be a lot of people around today. But on the other hand, that can be a good thing. So experiencing totality alone is, you know, fine, but if you can experience it with other people, then that makes it much more powerful. And so it's, it's not a bad thing to be in a huge crowd, just take it slow afterwards. Well, I'm certainly prepared, that's for sure. Tammy, I brought, I packed lunch for me and Alfie here. Alfie's the cameraman for today. And so I packed lunches for us. I went like really Italian with paninos, cold cuts. I have espresso for Alfie, the whole thing. You are prepared. You're like a little Girl Scout. Thank you for that, Stella. Appreciate it. You got the cooler ready. And that solar eclipse happening at 319 in totality later on today. Stella Aquisto live in Niagara Falls. Thank you so much for that, Stella.